How's it going, Toons of the World? It is your pal, Mega Snoop, bringing you another Toontastic Toonie the Tiger Let's Play. Shut up, Claraville. Nobody likes you. And I got five micromanagers, then I got to do the last task of Donald's dog, and I think it's going to be awesome. So let's get some gags first. I'm going to do that real quick by getting some jelly beans. Right now, as you can see, though, it's incredibly dark outside, which is crazy because it's like barely 6.30. It's getting to that point in the year where it's just dark all the time, you know? No joke. It's only 6.30. Honestly. Also, I like my phone background. Shout out to QWERTY, if, if she's watching, who made that. But it gets darker sooner, and it's kind of depressing. I mean, I like it, kind of. In a sense, like, it kind of makes me feel like there's more to the day. Because during summer, once it gets dark, you know you only have like an hour and an or an hour and a half left in the day before you got to go to sleep. But see, like now, once it gets dark, you still have like five hours or something like that. So it's actually kind of throwing me off a little bit that it's dark. Because every single episode I do of this, it's light out. And it's not like I changed up the times. There was an episode I did at like 7 p.m. And I finished recording at like 8.15 or something like that. And it was still light out during that time. And I'm starting a little bit earlier. I'm at... It's 6.30 now, and it looks like a scary movie outside. I remember seeing a comment, too, of somebody asking me why I always do the trolley to get jelly beans and not fish. And here's exactly why. Oh my gosh, look at this enticing gameplay. So much is happening. You guys are enjoying this so much, I can tell. Such exciting gameplay. Oh my gosh, I really just can't get enough of this exciting fishing gameplay right now. Can I help you, sir? Do I know you? Do I know you, sir? I don't think I know you, sir. Can you back off, sir? I love you. Well, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate that. That's nice of you. I guess some cool things do happen while you're fishing. 169 jelly beans. That's pretty nice. And a laugh boost. Cool. Love you too, Lumpy. I love you. Point is, though, that trolley is more enticing and it's more interesting to watch and I have more fun doing it. Because that's four and a half minutes of my life I'm never going to get back. But now the hunt for uh, micromanagers begins. Whoa, what the? Y'all just appeared out of nowhere. Hey, look. Oh, it's a level six. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna go to, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna go to Barnacle Boulevard, where he's nice and safe, huh? Hey, bro, you need help with this two-story? Dude, I'm not going in with you alone. You crazy. You cray-cray, dizzy, fuzzy nugget. Okay, fine. I'll just shut up, shut up Clarabelle now. Hello, Clarabelle. Yes, please shut up. So I'm now 11 minutes into the recording, and I've so far accomplished nothing gonna be a long episode these specific tasks are like honestly killer though because whenever you're trying to find that one cog that you need you can never find it and that's that's like, <gasps> micromanager where was it? it i walked right by it come back here bro please i need you please be my friend ask him to be my friend here we go micromanager paced for a moment and said let me see your resume he didn't say no! I really need new gags, though. I mean, I can't go into Daisy's Garden with level 3s. Like, that's just embarrassing. I'm working him, though. Is there another micromanager? I swear I just- <gasps> ANOTHER ONE! Legit, right after I found this one! Kids, look away. Hey, dodging you with my eyes closed! No, I don't know what this glitch is. It's kind of funny, but it's scaring me. Like, is, is Toonie dead? Is he okay? I mean, he's still- he's dodging everything with his eyes closed. Like, that's so baller, but- Is he okay? <laughs> Can I find another one? Would that be- can I- can I make it a triple? Oh, baby, a triple! Oh, yo, here's another one! Bro, I'm on a hot streak right now! Getting it done? Getting it all done with my eyes closed? Finding out this combination works, though. A cream pie slice, a squirt gun, and then a whistle to take out a level four. Good way to kind of train everything at the same time. Bro, what do you want? You weren't invited. Get out of here. I want to take this time out right now, though, to thank everybody for watching the Toontown YouTubers video. I worked on that video for quite a while, on and off, like I it, I wasn't working on it every day. So I would work on it a little bit here, a little bit there, I would do like one bit, like I would do Coach Zucchini, and I'd work a whole day on trying to make sure I perfected the Coach Zucchini bit. And then the, like next week I would take a whole day to try to work on the random tune show bit with Brad and Timmy. And then I took 30 minutes doing the DJ Dizzy Frog and Pop, because like honestly, I don't- I didn't really try on that one, I just kind of ranted. I mean, that's what he does, right? Oh, Flunky, please, no, don't do it, please, anything but tr the trim and nail bouquet, or boat, I can't even say the word. I don't care. I don't care about that building. So to see the outstanding support on that video with all the views and likes, that blew my mind, and I loved it so much. And so if you're watching this video after watching that video, thank you for watching that previous video. 
And also thank you for watching this video. And also thank you for even being here. And thank you for being alive. You're a great person. Don't ever forget that. You have the power to change the world. Don't let anybody tell you different. I got really deep. And now that Halloween has come and gone, I want to bring up the point that there's another holiday right around the corner that everybody's really excited for. It's right, Kwanzaa! No, but really, Christmas! No, but really, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, and it's uh, really cool, and I'm loving it. And so I'll probably do another Let's Play episode before Thanksgiving, but if I don't and I get lazy, I'm just going to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving now. So the happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Do the dance. Okay, see, so there's this micromanager here, but it's level 6, and I'm going to die. Well, I don't want to. This is so hard to look at because it's like it's right there, but I can't do it. How could this happen to me? I made my What's up, bro? How you doing? Come here often? 20 minutes later. <gasps> Micromanager level 4! Please, 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 please don't run away! Oh my gosh, seriously, you guys don't understand. I've seriously spent the past 20 minutes looking for one more micromanager because I'm freaking 4 out of 5. And I'm just finally God! Seriously, I was dying over here. I was just like <coughs> So I couldn't find this one freaking micromanager. I think I'm gonna die for my happiness, you know? Like for real. I'm so happy right now. But as I was talking about the upcoming holidays, I am sort of excited for Christmas. I mean not exactly the day of Christmas, but like in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. There's a day I'm really looking forward to. And that day is the day where my girlfriend flies in for a visit. Because if you didn't know, my girlfriend's name is Lana, and she lives in Tennessee, and I live in Oregon. And that's a very far distance. So in order for me and her to spend any time together, we need to spend like $400 on a plane ticket to fly out to each other's places for like a couple of weeks to a month. And so that time's come up again, and it's December something you, you think i would know this like it's such a big day and i just i just don't remember i'm so terrible i'm so sorry lana i love you and i am excited for christmas because i want to save up and get her a brand new spanking shiny computer as in a, a shiny spanking new computer not a computer that spanks don't get me wrong in that although it costs like a thousand dollars and everyone everybody i've told that to looks at me they're like a thousand you're not gonna spend a thousand dollars you can get a computer for six hundred dollars you can get a computer for four hundred dollars guys i want to get her a good computer she has a computer already. She's got a laptop. I need to go back to Seaweed Street. So she's got this laptop that she does all of her artwork stuff on. And she also plays games, but that's what she does all of her artwork stuff on. And she's going to college to be an artist. And she needs a computer that can handle the programs for her to do her art. And play awesome games at the same time. So I already have a computer picked out for her, which is how I know it's a thousand dollars. And I've been saving up as much as I can to try to get it for her. And if I just keep on saving at the rate I am, I think I'll have just enough by Christmas time. Though here's the misconception, is that everybody thinks, Oh, let me just use your YouTube money. <laughs> you guys don't understand. I don't make stacks on stacks on stacks from YouTube. There's a distinct difference between what people think I make from YouTube, what I actually make from YouTube. Hey, thank you. Now I have, uh, no, I'm not done yet. Wow. Screw you, Art. I hate you. So there's definitely a distinct difference between and he was going to go without me. He was he was straight ready to defeat that cog without waiting for me. Where good. Please tell me I got like one, if not like three. He didn't get any. I feel so bad for that guy. Please tell me he at least got one. Just one. How could this happen? And just for future reference, all those bills are $1 bills, and I got them from Chipotle, not from YouTube. And I'm not using them for the computer either. This isn't my stripper money, okay? I mean, my charity money. I mean, let's be real. This is my Taco Bell money. I'll tell you though, $17 in ones makes it feel like a lot more money than it really is. Those were all tips from Chipotle though when I, I work at Chipotle and, and I get like $3 in tips every day, you know? It's not that big of a deal, guys. I'll be fair. If I was making stacks on stacks on stacks, I wouldn't be living in the apartment building that I do because this place is gross and disgusting and smells like old cheese. Hey, thanks for the tune-up, buddy. What a pal. What a friend. 
friend. And I feel bad for him because he can't really use anything here. He's gonna get no experience for this turn. See, he wants it. Okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. I do it too. He was like, I want points. Want to do a small building. One or two short, sure. Yeah, I'll follow you, man. Follow the leader. Following the leader, the leader, the leader. Following the leader, wherever he may go. Does anyone remember that from like when you were six? Very nice wall. Yes. Are, are you enjoying that wall, little Sammy? I'm literally spending this entire episode working on the task before the final task. Like, this is this is bad. Bro, I know him. Lucky, please. No, I know him. Austin, if you're watching this, it's because I linked you the video because you're in it. I love you, buddy. All right, two story then. No, we don't, but it's it's nice that you have confidence. I appreciate that. Doesn't matter to me, bro. You call the shots. All right, throw it is. Let's do it. Good start. Good start. I'm loving it. Oh no, I'm hit. We're dead. Please, we're dead. <laughs> this guy actually knows what he's doing. I like this kid. This kid knows what's up. This oddly colored mouse knows what's up. Son of a- We're so dead. We are so dead. This is gonna hurt. Don't hurt me so badly. Senpai wise. Might actually not be too bad to be honest. You know, I like this guy. I know I already said it, but I like him. He's got the strats on strats on strats. Oh man. We're gonna get through this. Yo, the dodge skills are real, bro. We are actually doing this. Oh man. I haven't been this excited about like a two-story building in forever. We probably support here. Take the safe, easy way out. Oh, he's just gonna keep tuning me up. He's farming points right now. I see what it is. I'm just, I'm nothing more than a tune up of a tune to you. No, but really. This guy's been a pro. Right, big shout out to you, little Sammy, for being a bro. Hopefully, I get the two cog gears from this. Come on. Give me two of them. Give me two of them. Oh, I only got one. Come on, that building was hard. I deserve two. You wanna just turn around and do this one story right now? Come on, let's go. Let's just do it. Let's go. What are you waiting for? We got this monkey to help. Oh, you know you want to help, Dragon Princess. Oh, come on, please. Hey, we got a squad now. Let's do it. There she is. Okay, let's go. Squad. Oh, no, Sir Jimmy got ripped. I love you, Sir Jimmy. I didn't get gags, but that's okay. Who cares? Am I right? Yes. Look at all those chickens. Where? What the heck are you talking? There's no chickens. Okay, Lone Shark. What? the easy easy for you to say maybe and another lone shark wow that's cool i got this guys whistle op bro let's do it sound buddies we got this even though you lured yeah we're actually okay seriously i mean we all get points you know still works bro except for this guy he's almost dead i really hope i get one more cog gear from this building if not i'm gonna be upset and now i'll throw to finish it off because I really need to work my throw. Seriously. I still have level 3. It's pretty sad. Please give me the one. <laughs> you know, Little Cuddles actually has a good point. I should just go to an invasion district and do this. I'm gonna finish this task before the end of the episode. This task is literally the biggest pain in the butt. It's not being nice to me. Is there any nice invasions? There we go. Pencil pusher. I got this. This is all me. You know, there's cog invasion progress. That's why I came here. Hey, telemarketer. We got this cow gear right here. First try, I'm calling it. Also, I'm getting a load of experience from this too, so I'm really happy. Very respectable, very respectable. No cog gear though. Not gonna worry about it. It's cool. Round number two. Gonna get a cog gear. Hopefully. Maybe. Call me, maybe. Telemarketer. Puns? No? Okay. Yes! 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 I've never been so happy to get one. I've actually been recording for over an hour now. Usually I stopped by now, but I really wanted to get this task done. I have never worked so hard on a task in my life. Trust me, there are some really difficult tasks out there. They're really annoying, make you want to shoot yourself. But don't, because your, your life is worth living, kids. You have a purpose. There is something you are good at. You can succeed and thrive. This is a really touching movie speech. Better get the teleport access here because I've been faked out three times already. You better be giving this to me. Screw you, Art. All right, Melville. If you don't give it to me right now, I'm gonna just take it from you. I don't care, bro. Yes! Yes! Yes, it's so beautiful! Oh my gosh! And there's the final drop track training. But first I'm gonna do this because that's some free jelly beans right there. And and now he just changed color. What the heck? He's blue he's changing colors on me. Whatever. I'm just gonna choose it. 
and I will start this in the next episode because I already spent way too much time doing this. So thank you guys once again for watching. You're all awesome because I don't know why you guys still watch this series, but it's awesome that you still watch this series. Like seriously, a concurrent 2,000 viewers per episode. I, I, it absolutely blows my mind. So to every single each one of you, I love you very much. Just remember that. And, and you're beautiful. Probably. I don't know. I've never seen you. Thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it. And me and Toonie will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one. Hope y'all enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to smash that like button. It helps me know that my work is appreciated. Leave a comment and subscribe if you're new. You can check out my live stream at twitch.tv forward slash Megasnoop. Follow me on Twitter at Megasnoopttr. And I hope y'all have a toontastic day.